Tell me about the IFF system you built. Alright, so um, we have both a uh, transmitting and a receiving module. So what I have in my hand is actually a laser transmission module. Um, it sends out a pulse wave modulated laser so that we can identify um, who is actually sending the signal. So, so, the, so the light is the light identifies you as the sender. Yep. And this would be and the, and this would be a device you'd you'd mount on a rifle. Yep. So it'll be aligned along the rifle's barrel. So, okay. if, for example, if I accidentally um, like aim at a DTR, uh buzz would sound. I heard the I heard yep. the buzz, and that's on the rifle end. Yep. And that says, "Don't shoot. This is a friendly." Yep. Okay. And then on the receive end, on the each each soldier would be wearing a vest. Each that, soldier will have a vest that has multiple uh, photo receivers that detects when there's an incident laser beam. Each incident laser beam has its own uh, signature code, so you know which soldier is aiming at you. And then you have an RF uh, transmitter here where you broadcast a message saying that, let's say, Soldier 4, you're firing at a friend. And that way, Soldier 4 knows uh, through a buzz that the current uh, rifle line of fire is probably going to hit okay. friend. So let me get over here so I can okay. see. Now, when you line up the laser on the on one of the sensors... Uh, try it. Huh. Did you do it again? There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we've got a beep on that on that sensor, and on this end, then on the on the on the target end, there's also a a, a prototype a, health meter, which is detecting your pulse from your fingertip, right? Exactly. <clears throat> so one of the risks with such a system is if uh, if a hostile uh, soldier managed to get one of these devices away from. Uh, away from a friendly soldier, then they could masquerade as a friendly and pretty much fool everyone else out there with one of these rifle systems. So, to, to take it off a soldier, you need, uh, you have this, this pulse meter here guards against that. So the pulse meter would basically detect that you no longer have a heartbeat, and after a finite amount of time, this LED right here will glow. <laughs> or not today. But I've seen it It'll glow. glow. It'll glow. There, there it go. goes. And, and that says, says you're dead. That says you're dead. So essentially what that does is uh, that has a single line of code that fries the program memory on the chip. So even if the hostile forces did get access to this, they would no longer be able to use it as anything other than junk. Okay. So, so in, in, in a production model, mm -hmm. the, you wouldn't have be wearing something on your finger, of course. Of course. You'd, you'd have a wrist strap that most soldiers have anyway for uh, monitoring their health status and for commanders to get data on. Right. So you'd, you'd, you'd use the inherent material that exactly. they already use. They already also and have a, <clears throat> an RF transmitter for basic communications. Right. So we just have to integrate all of that into a uh, a proper body armor. So really, all you need is is sensors on the body armor, mm -hmm. and and uh, and a laser module on the rifle. On the laser module on the rifle, which may already exist in many cases for anyway targeting. for targeting. And it's the same uh, class of like class three lasers that yeah. exist. On so we just need to make like a slight modification to make sure that each laser module is actually trackable to an individual soldier, so that the only the indi individual soldier will receive the buzz. Very cool. Thank yep. you.